uh, I will explain how we can divide the surface use this patch to produce patterns and as you can see here you can see that we can uh, define our patterns produce uh, patterns that you can't easily uh, make by an algorithm and uh, you can easily use this patch to produce patterns so first of all we can use a surface like this I have drawn a, a vertical surface in Rhino so basically I've used the surface rectangle and the vertical rectangle okay let me just show you you can use this to draw the vertical rectangle assume this is a uh, this is the facade that we want to work on so I'm going to let me show the bifocals plugin to explain this is the surface we're going to work on I'm going to import that into grasshopper and if we want to divide this uh, surface into sections and into parts we can use different plugins like launchbox panel tools but uh, I'm going to use a simple way you can use iso trim so iso trim is basically a tool you can find into the surface the utility and here it goes uh, I will explain and talk about iso trim in another video so I'm going to give this to the surface and now we need a domain 2 uh, this is a, a very very comp uh, comprehensive input because you can work on uh, on the domain 2 and produce really really amazing divisions on the surface but what I'm going to do now is just use a simple divide domain 2 so we can divide the surface uh, surfaces domain into uh, whatever we want so basically you can always you always use uh, iso trim and divide domain 2 to produce a uh, divided surface uh, you can give the surface into the domain uh, it will divide the domain whatever it is uh, like 0 to 82 and 0 to uh, 142 into u and v numbers so uh, if we give these segments to the domain 2 that is the div uh, individual segments of the domains and we can just give it number so I'm going to give it slider turn this off and you can see that we can divide this surface easily into uh, rectangles or squares if we want based on your surface so this is the first part the next part is to how we can use this patch because this video is about this patch so if you type DIS you can find this this patch tool here or you can go to the sets uh, section menu and into the list you can find this patch it's a great tool you can do amazing things with it because uh, you can easily dispatch your data into two groups and then use it to combine them again in a, uh, another technique so what I'm going to do is to give this surface to the list the list input is the uh, the geometry or whatever it is or data you want to uh, divide into two lists uh, the list is list A and list B as you can see here and list A is the true list and list B is the false list so what can we do here is uh, uh, give uh, give the dispatch pattern uh, a logic I will explain logics uh, in uh, a comprehensive video tutorial about grasshopper but for now we can use a pattern in this part okay I'm going to turn everything off and connect a surface into the list A you can see that uh, our uh, panels has been divided into two groups list a, a and B and this is because the default dispatch pattern in the dispatch tool the true and false pattern so if I just right click on this we can give set multiple booleans into uh, the input so I'm going to just type 
numbers instead of true or false because you can de uh, define true as one and false as zero so it, uh, it doesn't uh, you don't need to type true and false in here so I'm going to uh, type like one one zero one and what happens is this uh, these numbers are going like this uh, this will go to one one zero one and again it repeats one one zero one and the ones are going to the uh, in list A so we will all have them in the list A and the zeros will go to the list uh, B this is actually the pattern you're using to dispatch the uh, surfaces so if I just type in here one one okay zero one zero you can see that uh, a pattern emerges, and you can easily choose which one, uh, which the true or the false panels you want, and work on them. Or you can just simply uh, preview off this one, and you can see that I have produced the pattern. Uh, remember that the pattern is uh, in relative with the V count or the U count based on your surface. But you can see if I change this, the patterns also changes because. And the numbers are in the rows here and the rows are going up okay so what we can do here is to control the pattern there are, there are many ways to produce logics and I will talk in uh, talk about it in a, another video or in a course on grasshopper because there are many ways to work with this dispatch pattern in many many different examples uh, but now what you can easily do is instead of typing the booleans here you can go into the uh, params menu you can go into the utility and use gene pool uh, this is uh, a tool that we'll, we will use for optimization but for now I'm going to pick this up and put it in the canvas you can see that if I double click on it we have 10 uh, different number sliders we can control this is this, uh, this is the decimals and the minimum and the maximum of the gene pool and because zero is false and one is true we can define the minimum to zero that's okay but the maximum should be one so if we just change this to zero decimals we can have a switch between zero and one okay so I'm going to give this a zero decimal and a zero one and maybe we want to give seven patterns here okay you can connect this to the dispatch pattern you can see everything will go because uh, uh, all of the panels are zero and uh, and they come out from the list B okay so you can use gym pool and right click on it uh, a simple way is to randomize uh, the gym pool okay I'm going to randomize 100% change this this is a random pattern but we can easily control the 0 and 1 so let's just try and just choose this so you can see that okay you can see you can easily change the pattern so it's uh, what you want and you can uh, you can also change the number of the rows and and have new patterns merging because the rows are changing okay so this is basically the way you can uh, go for uh, parametric patterns with this patch you can randomize it you can have more patterns more random pattern emerging okay and switching between the zero and the ones switching between the rows and uh, okay having the patterns come out of the list a I'm going to change this okay you can show these two different uh, outputs by connecting if it's a geometry output you can connect a custom preview from the display menu to one of them okay I'm going to connect to both of them and you can give colors to them so you can show the concept so I'm going to the uh, Parms menu I'm going to choose an input 
and I'm going to use color swatch to produce colors okay so here we go we give this uh, white and a copy paste control C control V and a black one here so you can see we can easily define the colors we want on the pattern so uh, and we can show the numbers on it or uh, whatever you want and this is basically uh, uh, a simple example of how you can use this patch uh, in uh, a, yeah, this, this patch is used as a geometry you can use it for numbers you can use it for points or whatever you want uh, I will show uh, many different ways you how you can use this patch and logics to have a best have the best results in your situation based on what you want it's very important to understand this patch because if you know it you can use it in in your projects and uh, for example you can use it for a surface uh, and uh, dispatch the surfaces that are bigger uh, have bigger area than others uh, or something like that uh, okay this is I, I just want to have a, so, a small and a fast video tutorial about this patch uh, feel free to put a comment under this video underneath this video if you have any comments or you think that you can you can ask uh, for a video tutorial and I will try to record one uh, thank you for watching